so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can remove input delay from your controller so if you don't know what an input delay is let me just show you guys real quick what i'm talking about so if, if you come over to your um firing range right now and if you click on a button so input delay is actually like um the time it takes for your controller to respond in game when you press a button on your controller so let me just check um go over to google to show you guys input delay is the time between a button pressed on a controller and the corresponding action appearing in the screen so it's actually the time it takes for you um to press a button on your controller and the amount of seconds it takes for it to appear on the screen so if you don't actually know if you have an input delay on your controller let me show you guys how you guys can check if you have if you do have an input delay on your controller so the software you'll be needing to check is actually called um ds4 windows so i'm just gonna drag mine right here so if you don't have um ds4 windows on your um pc you can just go to um google and search up ds4 windows so you can just go over to this um site right here that says ds4windows.com and you, you, you'll be able to download um ds4 windows you can either download the latest version or the old version does not really matter so when you have downloaded it you're going to need to unzip the file so i already have mine already opened right here so i'm just going to show you guys how you guys can check if you do have an input delay on your controller right here so you just need to come over to edit then you need to come over to others then you need to come over to controller reading so as you can see this number right here that says 3.5 milliseconds it means that i'm having input delay so it's going to um it's going to take like probably i don't know maybe 0.45 seconds delay for it to um um for for what i'm pressing on my controller to appear in game you might not really see it but you do have input delay so i'm going to show you guys how you guys can input remove this input delay from your controller what you've been needing to do is to head over to um google still same google and you need to search for this um software called hid usbf so what this software does is that it actually overclock your controller so it does not it removes any input delay that you'll be having on a controller so i'll be telling you the advantage and the disadvantage for having um for, for using this um hid usbf in a second so let me just ensure you guys that you guys can install the hid usb f so it's going to be the same process as you downloaded this ds4 window so when you click on hid usb f you're going to click on um search then you see this load of mice hid usb f so if you needed to come over to this um site right here this github site i think these are the creator of the um overclock um controller so you need to come over to code then you click on download zip file so when you have downloaded the zip file mine i already have mine downloaded so i have mine in this ds4 windows right here so i'm just gonna drag this right here so i have mine in ds4 windows right here hold on i'm just gonna go over to desktop and i'm going to this is mine right here so if i come over i should be able to see hid usbf so this is mine right here already on zip this is the file when you download the zip file it's going to be like this so you need to click on it and you click you need to extract the file so you can easily click on extract all so if you click on extract all to extract the file right here so when you click when you extract it you're going to need to open it and click on driver then you need to come over to setup so you need to open this file right here so i'm just going to drag that also this is the file right here so when you install it this is what it's going to look like so what you'll be needing to do right here is to change this mice that you can see right here to all so once you have done that you'll be needing to find um the part this the usb that says um dual sense wireless controller so i think this is it right here so as you can see as default this says no and so what you've been needing to do is to click on the um dual sense then you need to check mark the filter on device then it asks you filter driver um disabled so before you do this if you have an ant an antivirus you need to disable that because I, for some reason i don't know why um the antivirus kind of dictates um this folder as a as a as a um virus 
so as for me this is my antivirus right here i'm just going to right click on it and i'm going to go to settings then i'm going to go to protection now i need to disable the protection it will ask me how long do i want to disable the protection so i can just um disable the protection for i think one hour and i'll click on yes so that way it's going to turn off turn off the antivirus so that way i can come back and i can click on yes so as you see as you can see right it says error testing load filter um does not exist install service so you just click on yes so you've been needing to change this value also to eight thousand and you need to click on the install service so once you have done that you click on install service to so ask you do you want to open this file then you click on open so once you have done that i think the um the input delay should have been removed on your controller so we can you can either click on restart to confirm if it actually works so if your controller restarts in the um what was it called if your controller actually restarts in the um ds4 windows it means it's worked so i'm just going to click on restart yeah as you can see it actually worked it restarted my controller so that means i've been able to remove the input delay on my controller so we are just going to check real quick so we are just going to need to go over back to um ds4 windows so this is my ds4 windows right here, and i'm going to need to open ds4 windows and as you can see my input delay on my controller has been removed so the advantage you'll be getting is that you'll be able to win more gunfights because there are sometimes you'll be fighting in the game and you'll notice you'll be like how did i lose this gunfight like what happened like i was meant to win this gunfight so that's because you actually had an input delay on your controller so before you, when you click on l1 and you start shooting it actually takes like a second or two seconds for it to um pick up in the game so the other main important important thing also is for you to go over to your ds4 windows and you will need to change um this um value they are seeing right here to 1000 ms so you come over to one 1000 odds then you change it to 1 ms that's what i meant you change this to 1000 odds so that way your controller would be overclocked you won't have any issues of um input delay and your controller is going to be at the peak so you're going to just change this to 1000 odds and you click on apply and you click on save so that way you have been able to remove um input delay from your controller and note you must always have it connected with a um cord or a via um usb connection it does not um input delay you always have input delay where if you use um bluetooth connection so there's no way you can remove input delay with it because it's not actually connected directly to the um pc you are using bluetooth and with bluetooth there can be some lags depending on the distance at which your controller is connected to your um to your pc or your laptop so i think that's all you need to know to be able to remove the input delay so the disadvantage this comes with if you're using a low-end pc like i am using i'm actually using an rtx 3050 which is a low-end gpu i won't lie so this actually comes with a little downside a um, little um side effect so I'm always having um whenever I overclock my controller, I'm always having um FPS drop. So I usually have FPS drop whenever I do this for some reason. My FPS you will start stuttering. I'll be having um low lower FPS due to me just overclocking my controller. So that's one of the reasons why I don't actually recommend this if you're using a low end PC. But if you're using anything um higher than um I would say a state fifty and your uh, you don't have a um a low vram actually i have a very low vram let me just show you guys real quick i'm using um i think four gig gigabyte of vram so that's one of the issue i actually plan on upgrading um this laptop very soon as you can see right here i actually have four gigabyte of vram which is that it's not even up to four gig this is 3.87 gigabytes of vram so that's why i, I usually have um fps drop my fps my fps we start um stuttering so that is one of the side effects why i don't recommend this if you are playing on a low end pc but if you know you have a good gpu then you should be good to go like you really really um see a lot of changes when you um engage in gunfights in the game so i think that was all for this video and peace